ready to step up your game with magnet fishing? Well, today I'm getting in the water and I'm going underneath this bridge to see if I can find any lost or stolen guns that may have been thrown off. And we're starting right now. Man, I don't even know where to begin with this one. Let me just break it down for you. It's about 45 degrees. It is flooded. It's rainy. There's thunderstorms moving in. I'm in the water on my float tube in a wetsuit, magnet fishing. See if you can top that. This is gonna be pretty fun. I'm paddling upstream right now to a new bridge. Uh, I'm in the same creek where I've been hunting for that gun. Maybe I'll find something off this bridge. So let's get in it and let's see what we can find. Well, I just pulled this up. Didn't even have the camera running when I was pulling it up. Didn't want to bore you guys. I got snagged on something right below me. I got nervous because I've been out here like five minutes. But just a little piece of metal. What's funny is it's barely magnetic, so it's like there's something in the middle of it. But uh, either way, let's keep looking. Bunch of weird metal. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I know it's just scrap metal, but I don't know. It's weird. It's got like a weird, it's like ribbed, got lines in it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's keep looking. So I made it underneath the bridge I was going to. Check it out. Very spooky. Mm. Yeah. The hard rain hasn't hit yet, so I'm still swimming, seeing if I can find something. I may have some snag right here, buried in the mud. I'm trying to work it out. Feels like I got it. Whatever it is, it's not small. And I'm on a float tube, so this this could be interesting. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's coming up. And it's heavy. This makes, this always gets me nervous because you can't see in this water until it's right underneath you. So it always freaks me out. Are you guys ready? Okay. I don't think I'm supposed to be picking this up. I don't know what it is. I think it's just a cable. But I think it's supposed to be down there. Anyway, we're gonna put that back down because uh, I don't want to mess anything up. Ooh, I got something. Whoa, <laughs> that big a thing, dude. Check this thing out, dude. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's big and steel and it's got a big old point on the end of it. Uh, got any ideas? Just a shard of metal, essentially, but still pretty cool. Better than nothing, huh? Let's keep looking. So what do you think? Should I get out of this water yet? It's starting to rain pretty heavy. Current isn't picked up yet. You know, I'm in a wetsuit. Might as well get wet. Got a little piece of metal. Nothing too exciting. Well, let's keep going. So I got a question from a viewer, and I think Every time I get a question in the comments below, I will answer a question or two in the next video. So this question comes from Lamar, and he asked me if I could put a magnet or multiple magnets on some kind of rod, you know, so I could drag it and pick up more, um, cover more area. Well, Lamar, Brute Magnetics actually sells one of these. Uh, it actually has tube magnets attached to a bar, and uh, you can drag it around and actually cover more area. They're super strong, the magnets are great, um, the only downside of this that freaks me out is it's very easy to get snagged. So if you're bobbing it up and down, like walking around on the docks or pier, you'd be fine. But if you're dragging it or throwing it out in the rivers or creeks, there's a very good chance you're going to lose it unless you want to go swimming like I do. You can also make one of your own. I actually have made one at work. Uh, it's I have a, like five little magnets and they're attached to an, an aluminum beam. My theory is I can drag this along on the ground and it'll agitate the dirt, kick up anything that might be underneath the dirt and it'll stick to the magnets. I personally haven't tried it yet, but uh, one of these days I will give it a shot and I'll let you know how that goes. So there you, look, there you go, Lamar. Anybody else that has any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I will answer anything you have. Let's keep hunting. I've been paddling around here forever and I think I found something. Let's take a look. I'm not sure what it is. It might be a fishing rod holder. 
But you know what? It's something. Because uh, I'd hate to get out here in this freezing water and not find anything. So what do you think? Think I should get out of the water yet? I'm actually starting to shiver. I've been out here for a couple hours now in the water in the winter in a storm. So uh, I may have reached my limit. Man, I'm out of the water. I survived. It started raining really hard. At the same time, I started shivering a lot. So I'm going to get the car, then I'm going to warm up, and then we'll go through the stuff that we found, right? All right, I'm back at the house. I'm nice and dried off. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that I just found. I actually didn't find much stuff today. I did happen to come across uh, what looks like a fishing rod holder or just a piece of trash, ultimately. What I did find, though, is kind of wild, and I want your guys' help on this one because I have no idea what it is. But it looks kind of weird. Check it out. This thing is actually, it looks like um, it could be a weapon. Uh, more than likely, it's just a piece of scrap metal. What catches my eye, though, is it looks hollow and it has a groove running down the center. And obviously, it's sharp on one end and curved on the other. So what do you guys think about that? I mean, you can see here, it actually almost looks like wood, but it is metal. But it looks like, you know, it looks sharp, right? Uh, it curves on this end. Um, goes down there. I have no idea what it is. Tell me what you guys think. You see that groove I was talking about? It's about the only thing I found though that was cool. Everything else was trash. I found a whole bunch of other little stuff. Not a big deal. If you're not a subscriber, I think you should subscribe right now because I'm going to keep doing this every Friday. And you know what? Winter's wrapping up, so it's almost time to go diving again. Can't wait. Until then, I will see you soon. My name is Jeremy, and I'm out.